Good morning. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I'm glad to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. We're going to be reading from Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30 and 31. This morning, for this morning's devotion, it's Wednesday and it's June the 30th, 2021. In Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30, the Bible says, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. And then the last verse of chapter 11 says, Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. And verse 31 becomes a warning to those who will listen to God versus those who will not. Verse 30 speaks to those who know the Lord, that they would be a, an, an example, a witness, a testimony to those who do not know the Lord. The Bible says the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. It's an interesting terminology. How do you win a soul? Well, you go out there and you seek that person for the Lord. And the Bible speaks of this in Psalm 126, sort of in veiled terms. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. And we make a connection between this portion of Scripture because Jesus referred to the Word of God as the good seed, and we are to sow seeds, we're to be witnesses in this world, and seek to persuade people through scripture and seek to allow the Spirit of God to convict them of their need of Christ so that they would be one to the Lord Jesus Christ. He that winneth souls is wise. And it's obvious that we cannot do that work. It's got to be a work of the Holy Spirit to bring someone to the Lord. And yet God calls his people to be engaged in that great work, to be witnesses for Christ. Acts 1 8 is where the Lord said, Ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Judea and all Samaria and into the uttermost part of the earth. The Bible says that starting at home in Jerusalem is the first place that Jesus mentioned there in Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. God's people should be concerned about getting the gospel to those who need the Lord so desperately. This becomes such a compelling task because eternal souls hang in the balance. And you know what? People can be persuaded. People can be affected for righteousness sake just by the faithful witness of those who really know him. And who can, who can talk intelligently about what it's like to know the Lord except those people who truly know him in the first place? Who can speak compellingly except those who have been forgiven, those who know Jesus Christ as Savior, those who realize the peace and the joy that the Lord gives. May God help us to be faithful and effective witnesses because the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. And there is a judgment day. There is a day of reckoning that's coming. And it will not be a happy day for those who do not know the Lord. It'll be a joyful time for the righteous, for those who know Christ as Savior, but not so for those who do not. They'll be turned into, the Bible says the wicked will be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God and people who made some excuse and rejected Christ because of it will have to face the wrath and judgment of Almighty God for their sins. It will not be a joyful time or a happy day for them, but it will be for all those who are saved and God's people should be willing to share that great truth with others so they can come to know the Lord as well. Be a good witness for Christ. Be a good example. Be a good testimony and vocalize your testimony, your salvation, so others can hear about it and know about the Lord. God bless you today.